January 2009 and the world's first ACS 2000 6 kilovolts medium voltage drive goes online at Jura Cement, Switzerland's second largest cement producer. The 550 kilowatt drive is used on the clinker cooler exhaust fan located immediately after the 2000 tons 56 meter long Polisius kiln. The fan plays a critical role in the cement making process. Raw mix enters the kiln and is heated to 1450 degrees Celsius where it is transformed to clinker. Upon exiting the kiln, the clinker is cooled to 100 degrees Celsius by way of the cooling fans which blow cooling air through the clinker. By controlling the clinker cooler exhaust fan, the drive keeps the pressure in the kiln hood constant. It does this by regulating the fan speed that draws cold air through the clinker cooler in relation to the hot air that is being drawn through the kiln. Accurate energy input is critical to the quality of cement. Insufficient heat will result in poorly burned low quality clinker whereas excess heat might damage the kiln shell. Previously, Jura Cement used this 630 kilowatt cascade drive controlling a slip ring induction motor. But after 25 years, spare parts were becoming scarce and the maintenance costs were escalating, partly because of the need to replace the carbon brushes on the slip ring induction motor every three months. And with each kiln stoppage costing several thousand Swiss francs, maximizing uptime of the process is paramount. Enter the ACS 2000. With a footprint of only 1700 millimeters wide by 1140 millimeters deep, the drive is much smaller than the cascade drive. It is also designed with replaceable phase modules, which allow the end user to rapidly replace a module within minutes. As cement making is a continuous process, the drive needs to operate 24 hours a day and only be taken offline at planned maintenance intervals. The kiln had to be stopped up to 30 times per year. Some stoppages were the result of brush changes to the slip ring motors. Based on the experience from the ACS 2000's performance, Jura Cement expects that there will be no kiln stops because of the drive's maintenance or performance. Now we are three months in operation without our kiln. In this time we had a very good production, so for us uh, it's absolutely perfect. Installation of the drive is straightforward due to its simple design and ease of use. The whole system is modular uh, made, so we think that with some spare parts our maintenance team can uh, make changes in a very short time. We're saying the, the main modules in about less than a half an hour also, electronic parts are really done modular. You can change it very quickly and uh, that's what uh, maintenance people are looking for, that's clear. The drive's interface with the new ABB800XA control system is via Profibus using a single cable shown here by the purple wiring as opposed to many connections with the previous drive system. This is a big advantage during commissioning, as it takes minutes to commission a Profibus system compared to other systems. The simplicity of the installation and commissioning is also reflected in the reduced training time needed for end users. It was as easy as every inverter, also low voltage inverters. You know that it's normally about one day that you need to commission. It's, it's absolutely a compact uh, drive, no big difference to a low voltage drive. You have a, a standardized uh, interface uh, to the control system by Profibus and more or less that's all that you have to, to do to put in all the, the values of the motor itself and then it's done. The kiln exhaust fan is one of the largest consumers of energy in a cement plant. Controlling a kiln exhaust fan with an electric variable speed drive can result in significant energy savings. 
Jurasement and ABB are planning to monitor the energy consumption and compare this against that consumed by the Cascade Drive. About energy saving, we think so that we come down 10-20% that we can spare. We want to see that over a production period. So it's a modern drive now and from this side it must be 10 to 20 percent that we can have energy savings. According to Hitz, the cost of the drive can be easily recovered from energy saving alone. Compared to the limited speed range of the Cascade Drive, from 30 to 100%, the ACS 2000 offers a wider speed range, from 0 to 100%, resulting in a better process control. The wider range of speed control gives Jura a higher overall efficiency, as it now has greater control over the entire process. So, there you have it. One of the first ACS 2000s to be installed is already proving its pedigree by bringing reduced maintenance time and costs, quicker installation and commissioning, lower energy consumption, and above all, a reliable general purpose drive ideal for standard applications.